go to the world is salman khan to me salman mamu and that to me is bigger how is he feeling now he confirmed last evening that he suffered a rib injury yeah he's good he's very strong mashallah he's like always recovering from anything that he's bouncing back always in my opinion my dad is the best actor uh, my mamu slaps my dad in um, one of the scenes of the film on screen yeah i want to do like have a fight with him and stuff like galaxy lunches are a family like a family thing that we do almost every sunday and then most other days whenever required i am agni hotri ak agri welcome to cnn news 18 thank you thank you so much and you have a new song out that's titled you are mine for which you have collaborated with salman khan who is also your uncle yes so first tell us about the song and getting salman khan on board so um this song is a very sweet uh, romantic love song which is a hybrid of english and hindi lyrics and it's a, it's a, i think it's a song for every season it's a song for the lovers and it wasn't getting salman on mamu on board it was actually him getting me on board um that's how it happened so it's his song he's the main artist and i was asked to feature in it and write something and i did and vishal mishra and mamu both liked it so that's why um that's how the song ended up happening yeah so how much time it took you to write the lyrics for this song um to so the lyrics i had to write in two parts uh, for the song because first there was only one section that they were planning to use like the first verse the first time you hear me and then they decided to add a section at the end so it in two different settings i wrote it but because i guess the song is about the themes of love and it's about something that felt relevant to me in my life it became easier to write um, it was in take too long i think it was the day or yeah within a day or so it was done so how has been the response to the song it's been good people have liked it um people have liked it really quite a bit so it was a refreshing you know it's, it's always nice to hear people say good things about like work you've done do you read all the uh, all the comments I at times read all the comments, but for fun, I find both the positive and the negative comments a learning experience and um, something that you should like take away. So then, please give us few lines of the song. Yeah, of course. Me hu tera tu meri, you plus I. All it takes is it two of us to get by. There's something about your girl you make me feel like I can fly. Investing on my time every day with you is a drop in the ocean of life. You're so confident, I get shy. so kept to wait it can't lie your mind that is nice you know i have many questions about your music but before that would you please like to tell us about what inspired you to become a musician and and a rapper yeah so i started writing about 10 years ago when i was in high school and it started with really slow sad poetry that i was writing at the time and like this is on the 11th grade So by the time I went to university, I had started writing raps. Uh, to at the time EDM music was quite big, and that's what me and my friends were listening to. So in the drops of the EDM songs, I would write verses initially. And then when I went to London, my exposure to music and people that rap and everything increased a lot. And that's when I started writing raps more like hip hop music. Then I kind of went into music composition, learning like it's not just about the words you put down, but even how you use. compose the words that you put down like and you know create a song and a structure out of it so the journey began from there and it's really been more of a passion i find it easier to express myself when i put thoughts down on paper than i do in conversation so it's a it's a special part of my life and somewhere i decided pursuing this passion made me happy as well and that's how it finally came to be so you don't have a formal training in music i so i don't have a formal training for music in in london i did my ba in acting and world theater so they had voice training as part of that and we did musical theater for a year so i have some struck but more specifically for those outputs but some basic training which is i use the base techniques to kind of help myself get better let's talk about your other song party fever yeah it was of course uh, a collaboration between you and pile dev yeah it's a dance number yes 100% Have you figured out by now the kind of music uh, that you like to create? So I like to create a diverse range of music. Actually, 
um, I think there's a big body of work that I have ready that's going to be coming out one song at a time every month. And over time, people will get to see and connect with the type of music that I like to make and I like to explore. I don't like to be restricted by any particular genre or theme. So as long as I get to make music that I enjoy making and I enjoy listening to, that I'll be doing a lot of stuff. So. But it'll be primarily hip hop. Primarily hip hop, pop, you know, and like exploring spaces around. So then how much time do you actually spend on a song before putting it out for the public? So it depends. Do you rewrite and do you like you sometimes? So it that's what that's what it depends. So I have I tend to not rewrite anything. So until I'm absolutely sure that the lyric is going to make it into the song, I don't write it. So sometimes if I'm in flow, they're much faster. And sometimes if I'm not, but I know this is a song that I have to write, then I spend a couple of days also trying to get like the exact lyrics out. Because to me, once I've put it and it's set, it's not that I don't change lyrics while I'm writing. But once I've written a verse and I left it, I tend not to go back and rewrite them. So the process is a little more personal for me. So sometimes it creativity flows and you end up writing it faster than other times. But other times I've spent like months trying to crack a song because I knew there was something I could get out of that instrumental that until I did, I wouldn't rest like in peace. So it, it depends. You said you were uh, inspired by EDM when you were studying in, in, in yeah. California. Uh, then the many trends followed. The latest one was Afrobeat. Yeah. Which is the current music trend that you are fascinated with? I love Afro music, like Afro dance hall music. That is a like a big zone for me. It's something that I've recently tried to move into and make also. So maybe we'll see some of that also from me in the future. Yeah. I really love it. I love Afro music. It's a great. Even yeah. in Party Fever, we saw Salman Khan making an appearance. Mm -hmm. It looks like you can get him to do anything. I mean, he'd give his life for me, of course. He's my mamu. He loves us very dearly. He'd do it for anyone in the family. It's not just for me. And um, no, it, it's not that easy, though, when it comes. But when it's with work, it's not that easy. Um, he's been, He has shown a lot of support, but it's because it, the people have approved and, like, have seen, like, he has genuinely seen appreciation for the work from other people. Even this, like, so, for example, I was actually recording my EP, my short album that I'm going to be releasing in 2025. Because of recording that EP is how I got connected to Payal D and how I got that song. And then how basically he played it to Vishal and then like Vishal liked my EP and then he had the, I also like thought about adding me to this song. So it was because of that EP and the acceptance that that EP got behind the scenes that I was actually offered these songs to do. So yeah, it's been a process. Um, you will, everyone will eventually get to hear all of the music that does come out. And there's a lot, there's a lot that I want to put out eventually. So it's one step mm -hmm. at a time. One song I, at a time. I really like uh, Party Fever. I really like oh, it. Thank you. Thank you. you like, please like to give a few lines of the song. For that also? Yeah, yeah. of course. Girl, I want to see you shaking, making move. I saw your eyes glare more across the room. You made my heart zoom. Zoom. You made my heart zoom. Zoom. Nice. Right. nice. You know, I have many questions about your music, but before that, you know, Salman Khan is one of the biggest stars we have in the country today. From actually from last many years. What was it like living under the shadow of your uncle? Um, there's pros and cons to everything in life, I believe. There were there's a lot of good things that come obviously with being him like his nephew, but mainly we don't focus on that as a family for us it's more about the relationship that we share for me he's always been mamu and there's nothing like even though to the world he's salman khan to me salman mamu and that to me is bigger so it's always been about the relationship that we share but um yeah i guess it's more of how other people treat you knowing that than more about how we behave knowing that because to us the outs like that's all like this is not, it's not ghar ki baat. It's like, it's work. It's his like life outside. It's what like people know him for, but it's not what we know him for. Like, you know, we know him for more than just like his work. We know him for his life. We know him for his, the conversations he has with us, the experiences like he shares. So that is what we focus on. How is he feeling now? He confirmed last evening that he suffered a rib injury. Yeah, he's good. He's very strong. Mashallah, he's like always recovering from anything that he's bouncing back always. Have you spoken to him about the injury? Yeah, no, he's good. He's a soul. He's a soldier. He nothing, nothing can take him down. 
touch wood he's good he's recovering well also your sister made a very uh, made an impressive debut with farre she's mm. a good actress do you talk to her about acting yeah yeah uh, i actually also help her sometimes with her like auditions and rehearsals and stuff yeah really i mean she's really really impressive does she inspire you in any way oh she's phenomenal her hard work and dedication is something to be learned from yeah 100% she's my sister of course i love her she's here it's my jaan what was your grandfather salim khan and uh, and and salman khan response to alize's acting debut what they were, were they critical of they were they are so they are very critical my family is very critical and she actually passed with flying colors nana actually said that she is a true actor when he saw the trial like the trial of uh, farre and it was something that like i mean it meant a lot for the whole family you know to hear him say those words i and you know uh, i have to talk to you about nepotism okay on, so- on social media the people saying you got undue advantage of because having a superstar in the industry biggies endorsing your music uh, what do you like to say nothing was done unfairly nobody has been exploited and we haven't like i haven't done anything with any no one has done anything with bad intentions we love making music we were in the process of making music we made music music came out that's all that we focus on and that's all that matters to us is that the music is it's a passion for both of us right so for both of us to do this we enjoy it and like we enjoy making it we enjoy that people enjoy it and that's all that really we matter matters yeah coming back to the music then uh, yeah. which are some of the composers or singers that you like to collaborate with from bollywood um in india in i would love to collaborate with vishal once more on something else um uh, maybe something let we work on from scratch something independent i'd love to jam with him he's someone that i feel i get a lot to learn from i've only spent brief moments with him in the studio but his experience it shows in the way he approaches work he listens to a track and he can analyze like every layer of it and he can understand how it's treated like it it shows how seasoned he is as a musician and an artist so he would someone I'd happily go back to work with the non film there's a friend who's been doing music for a long time who i have been a follower of her name is jhali she is someone I'd like to collaborate with she does has a very wide skill set she has done some hybrid in couple languages mixes of different songs um like melodies and i like playing with different languages different instruments so like i feel like we'd be able to create quite an interesting experiment between the two of us no hip hop has many sub genres you saw the evolution of hip hop in india from street to screen uh, really uh, there's a desi hip hop uh, there's a hip hop that has cultural representation social or political commentary what kind of hip hop are you inclined to i'm mainly inclined towards hip hop that tells either a story and has like a certain communication or a message that it's trying to convey or then i'm making music that's music for fun then it's like it's music to be enjoyed like party fever is and you know you are mine otherwise then i'm making music that has some kind of communication or at least conveying a message about myself or like relaying thoughts of my own to the people so while growing up which of some of your uncle's character that you used to mimic So really I'll give you a cute story actually when I was younger um when I was a child acting you know seeing on screen and off screen it didn't make sense like you know when two kids you don't know the difference so I can't remember but there was this one uh, trial we had seen together as a family and in that uh, my mamu slaps my dad in um, one of the scenes of the film on screen and um, i came out fuming and i actually i wanted to do like have a fight with him and stuff like that i was crying i was howling i was so upset i couldn't believe it um then like you know my parents had to like calm me down and they be like listen it's acting it's fake nothing happened it's this is that whatever and then <laughs> over time i figured it out but yeah that was a it was I, that's something that i do remember though what kind of hip hop music that inspires you the most so there's an artist called russ um from america and 50 cent those two are the ones that expire, inspire me the most like they are the ones who are always on my playlist i love like whenever i lose my like my tempo and i feel like i need inspo to write like if i pump like 50 cents album like you know if i can't and like god give me style all of those songs are like go to so 
so then when will we see a song by ayan in one of the films but are produced by salman khan um i haven't been offered to do a song for a film yet but if i do then you will be seeing hopefully sure inshallah soon sooner than oh, you can do maybe an opening opening credit number would be nice you and salman yeah. khan coming up yeah like maybe let's see if he's up to it the dad also acted uh, actively in few films uh, in the yes. 90s mostly uh, which, which which are dad's films that you like the most or you loved while growing up watching artishan sir are like they like yeah, yeah they're great films then they they were just like you know this like they hit home what a lovely song artish had yeah dil 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 that the yeah. that song on the bike Yeah, yeah. You know, actually, it is really funny. Me and Dad always talk about the films at the time, the choreographies of the songs, and how they used to shoot them and stuff. He's like, you don't know. Back then, it would just be like they would have a small team would go to a location and they would just say shoot, and they would try to get as much footage as possible. Do this there, do this, 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 and it was a matter of coming back and editing it together. So I always, whenever I look at them, I always notice how well they utilize one location <laughs> in these or in the songs of the time, you know. But he was also good in Kranti Veer. Yeah. You don't like Kranti Veer, or you? No, no, I like. I have. I think to in my obviously in my opinion, my dad is the best actor because like as a near adoring son. Nice, nice. But then, uh, how much of your childhood you spent at your nana's house and and with with your mama? So quite quite frequently. Galaxies or uh, galaxy lunches are a uh, family, like a family thing that we do almost every Sunday, and then most other days whenever required. and yeah it's just it's good to like go there and spend time how is your bond with two of your cousins who are uh, almost of your age arhan and nimar i'm very close to all of them uh extremely close to all of them we have a very we, the siblings have very good relationships uh i'm fond of all of them for other reasons but the littlest ones i'm more fond of than these the bigger ones now you also want to establish a youtube channel Yes. What is it that with the Khan boys who wants to establish their YouTube channel? Your cousin Ahan also made headlines with his show Dum Biryani. Hmm. Uh, yeah. Um. I don't. So for, I guess it just it, it's the content that he chose. If with podcasts, YouTube is the space that podcasts thrive on. And with me, um, if I want to go independent making music, then at some level, um, having building my own presence on YouTube is more important than like. being able to put it out on other people's platforms and getting traction you know your granddad's film shole will be completing 50 years uh, next next year and it's a film that released a couple of weeks ago uh, in theater like when it got remastered is when i actually uh, saw the film so i haven't seen the original version of it but the remaster when it had come out that time i had seen it and there yeah, are a lot of my friends recently have gone into seeing it after angry young men because it's it's kind of like spark the fire again you know so like you said salim uh, salim khan has written many blockbusters like i said you belong to a generation who will probably find it not easy or difficult to connect with those films mm-hmm. is there a salim khan film that you like a lot um bunch of them mm-hmm. but apart from shole is the favorite one shole is the and for me that's the most exciting one from the lot of Have you ever had a chat with Salim Salim Khan about uh, his writing process? Do you also write? I haven't about his screenwriting process directly, but he does speak about it frequently, and he has his like I've got to learn from how they try to create characters and how they would focus on creating characters on screen, and I guess that. became a part of how i try to make my storytelling about my own like life more exciting through the music and that's the influence i can definitely draw from there and finally uh, ayan what is a big plan where do you see your music going from here hopefully up <laughs> um if if no but yeah i want to keep taking it it's a passion it's something that i enjoy doing um it's like i've always said i'm going to keep putting it out there and if people like it they like it if they don't like it they won't like it and it i'll still keep putting it out anyways so. well looking forward to your next song and thank also you so much. hoping that you'll keep surprising us with your music thank you so much and all fingers crossed thank you thank, thank you so much